Hello, welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. We are going to make an alternate card using one of the pieces from the October 2022 paper pumpkin kit called Ho Ho Ho. It's a Christmas kit. But when I looked at this, honestly, I love it as stars, but I saw sunflowers. So I'm going to make a card using the Celebrate Sunflowers set uh, and the sunflower dies. And then this one, I cut the Let's Celebrate You greeting out with one of the seasonal label dies from the Christmas season bundle. So I took the smallest of the sunflower stamps and in garden green ink on garden green paper, I stamped just around the edge like that. And then here's where the magic happens. I've got a five and a half by three inch piece of Daffodil Delight and when I put this over top, does that not look like sunflowers? So I need to adhere these together. So I'm just going to put some stamp and seal kind of in spots on this so that it all adheres together. And the piece here with the die cuts from the kit is uh, that five and a half by three, which is why I cut the uh, daffodil the light piece to that. So we just are going to make sure we are lined up and that we are attached. There we go. So now we have sunflowers and I am going to flat mount this to the card front and it will go the full length of the card front. I'm going to put it up just a little bit higher Actually, that didn't end up a little bit higher, but that's okay. Um, because I'm using blanks, I'm not using full cards, I can turn this around. So it needs to be a little bit higher. The Let's Celebrate You is going to go along the bottom. And again, it's stamped in the garden green on crumb cake paper. But here's a little bit more magic. What I've got is I've got leaves. I've got these leaves that I die cut out with the sunflower dies going to put a little bit of adhesive on each one and I'm going to pop it down like that. So I've got four pairs of these cut out so I used up my scraps of crumb cake and I'm just setting them down like this. Maybe if I turn them all over at once and put adhesive. You can use the adhesive dots from your kit as well if you want to. There's always plenty of adhesive dots on those little sheets. So I'm just going to, like I say, add adhesive to the back of these. And that's probably going to be quicker than going through and you painfully watching me add all these leaves in individually. So there we go. And I'm basically using the line from the flower from the star below, the snowflake below to line up so it looks like it's a stem. You see the stem going down the middle there. And then like this, and then like this. And we have a nice row of sunflowers. This one looks to be a bit in the wrong place. So I'm going to lift it up a little bit. There we go. So we now have a row of sunflowers. I am going to dimensionalize this piece and you can tell paper has two sides and I did indeed use both sides on this one. You could bling this up if you wanted to, but I like it with the sunflowers in the background. Um, I like it just like it is. So this I'm going to center here and there we go. And there we have a happy row of sunflowers saying, let's celebrate you using one of the die cuts from the October 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to Create Together Again.